Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Elmo's Garage. Yes, you read that right. Today we're building a stock Honda Ruckus. A little different than the normal build you see on YouTube. So hopefully you've seen my last video. I showed you off my GY6 swapped Ruckus. Um, a lot of parts, a lot of parts that I took off the Ruckus that didn't need anymore. So I figured why sell them when we can use those to make our own stock Ruckus. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get started. All right guys, the very first step that you'll probably see in almost any Honda Ruckus build is connecting the front and rear frame. So to do so, we've got four 14 millimeter bolts here. Uh, we're just gonna insert those and connect the frame. Um, I highly recommend you use red Loctite on all these um, parts that you don't really expect to take off anytime soon. Um, these scooters do vibrate, not as much as the GY6s, but uh, you do want to make sure you've got some kind of Loctite on there. You really don't want these coming loose when you're out riding. And that's way too much, but that's all right. What we're going to do here is just spread Loctite all around the threads. You can take two bolts and uh, just kind of swish them around together, get it all good on there.
And there you have it. There's our two frames connected. Next up, we're gonna be installing our front triple tree. So in order to do so, we're gonna first insert our races into our front frame. So you have a large race and a small race. Small race goes up top, large race goes in the bottom. Uh, this should be tight. I don't know why this is not tight in there, but once we put the, everything together, it should hold together well. Um, if you have a little trouble getting them in, take, maybe take a light hammer and just tap them in. Nothing too crazy, you guys still don't want to bend these. All right, that looks good. And we're just gonna insert that for now. Our next step is to insert our bearings. So here you have, see again, large bearing, small bearing. So one is new, one is used. So for the used one, we're just gonna head and wipe some of the old grease off first. Now you can take some good synthetic grease here. I've got some uh, just regular old Valvoline full synthetic grease. Uh, a lot of people use some better grease, but honestly, um, it really doesn't matter in my opinion. So you're gonna really get it good on there. Just really get it, make sure you've got all the little ball bearings around there. There we go. All right, let's go to the top bearing now. It's really, really knead it in there with your fingers if you can. Remember, it's always okay to apply a little too much than not enough grease. And a little more there. And let's do a little more on the bottom as well, just in case. Now it's time to insert our triple tree here. Now, see, I went ahead and uh, spray painted this in some uh, semi-gloss black. All right, so our first order of business is to take our large bearing and slide it right down to the triple tree. Um, you'll know if it's the right one because it will not go into the, the uh, race here. So that looks good. And we're just going to slide it all right up to the bottom. All right. Probably helps if you have two people here. Um, then you're going to take your small bearing, insert that right up top. Just sit right nice down to that race there. Shouldn't have to force it at all. All right, next you're gonna take your upper race and screw that right on. Good. Next thing you're going to do is hand tighten your first nut up top. This is the larger nut of the two. So just give it a good turn. Um, as you can see down here, this is really stiff. This is probably a little bit too tight. 
You can also tell if you take it and bounce a triple tree, see how that didn't bounce at all, it's too tight. If you have it really tight, you should, you'd be actually able to fill the ball bearings binding up, which I can just barely fill them. I don't know if you can see that there. They're just very lumpy. So that's a little too tight. So let's take it back a little bit. A little better. All right, I think I got the first nut just where I like it. So it's not too tight, it's still got a little bounce to it. Uh, keep in mind, when you're gonna ins next you're gonna insert your locking washer and locking nut. When you do tighten down this locking nut, it is gonna apply a little bit of force onto this upper race. So um, once you tighten this down, if it feels like it's binding again, you might need to take it back off and loosen your, um, your large nut. All right, now you're gonna tighten down this nut. Really, really tight now. Once you think you got it on there, let's go ahead and check our bearings again. Now I'm getting a little bit of binding, so we're actually gonna loosen this and loosen our large nut. Let's do a uh, quarter turn here. Uh, let's call it an eighth of a turn. All right, let's put back down our small nut on top. Might need somebody to hold the frame here while you do this part. All right, it looks good. All right, so the next step here is to install our front forks and also our stock front fender. Um, just noticed, so I bought this on this front triple tree on eBay that um, this speedometer and throttle cable is on the wrong side. So we're gonna have to switch that around. All right, so the first step is to remove all four bolts. Set those aside for now. Um, the first step you want to do is make sure you put on this fender first because once you get these forks on, there's nowhere for this fender to go. Um, so what you're going to do is insert your fork up through the holes. Uh, keep in mind that we're installing our left fork first. So it has a bump out here. That is for your stock drum brake. So that's going to go on the left hand side. So up through the fender into the triple tree. All right, other side. All right, our next step is gonna to be to install our front wheel and drum brake. Um, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you've got a good axle here, make sure there's no bends in it or anything it's straight. Um, then you can just take some grease and grease that up. I'm just using a brake lubricant here. Um, I believe you can use probably the same grease that we used for our Triple tree, you'd be fine. Just some, some good grease. Make sure to get a good liberal amount on there. All right, set that to the side. We've got our front wheel here. This is, the, of course, a stock wheel with a Michelin bopper uh, stock size as well. We're gonna insert our 
drum brake. Uh, little tip here, if you are using a used drum brake, um, my brake pads were very glazed over. Um, I just took some 220 grit sandpaper and rubbed um, opposite of the way they're gonna be traveling against the um, inside of the drum here. So you're gonna be wiping outwards here. Um, as you see, they look, they've still got a lot of life left. Um, so I did not feel the need to replace those. So in that, insert that right into the drum and get our cables out of the way here. So you're going to make sure this notch is going to be inserted into the notch right here. Hope you can see that on our left fork. So your, your axle, either side, doesn't really matter. Um, we're just gonna go from the left side here, right through the hub, and make sure our wheel, wheel is good and straight here. And we're just gonna insert our spacer onto the other side. That's just gonna go right between the bearing and the fork. All right. All right, next we're gonna insert our handlebars onto the triple tree. Make sure to insert your concave washer to the front. And 14 millimeter bolt through the front as well. Then we're going to insert our speedometer. And then we're going to secure that with two 10 millimeter nuts on the bottom. All right, next we're going to install our right hand control and throttle tube. So I've already inserted the grip onto the tube. Just leave a little bit of space here if you'll need it for it to go into the uh, left-hand control. And then you're just going to insert your um, holder for your throttle cable. All right, next we're gonna be installing our battery stake cow. That's just held in with three number six hex screws. Just insert those from the back. Make sure you use Loctite on these as well. All right guys, one of the most important parts of this build is our ECU and wiring harness. So I'm just using a uh, used wiring harness here. It's got pretty much everything where it's supposed to go. So hopefully we can easily get everything back together. 
Uh, to start, I like to do the ECU first. So we're gonna secure that to the ECU bracket with our three 10, 10 millimeter bolts. All right, next up, we're gonna be installing our ignition. So we're first, we're gonna insert our nuts into the back here. Then put on our plate and ignition. Make sure to lock tight these as well. All right, guys, I went ahead and finished up our wiring harness here. So I just want to do a quick walk around and show you how everything looks. We got our battery here, uh, fuses, two screws, two bolts, I mean, holding down the battery. We've got our ignition plugged in, um, horn up here, indicators up here, drive unit, ECU, uh, resistor. This is going to be your um, turn signal indicator. Just makes audible click. Then over on the left side, we've got our all of our brake light switches, um, turn signal wires, and also went ahead and installed the headlight pigtail. So that just plugs in right down here. Um, I'm not going to be using front turn signals, so these four terminals are going to be blank. Next, we're going to go ahead and install our fuel pump. Um, this is an electronic fuel pump. This is a new, just Chinese version of a stock fuel pump. And you also have the bracket that goes in the bottom here. Um, that's just secured to the fuel pump by a 10 millimeter uh, bolt, and then it's secured to the frame by a 10 millimeter nut. Next, we're going to install our electronic fuel pump. So first, insert your bracket onto the frame, 10 millimeter bolt. Then slide your fuel pump. Um, so our gas inlet's gonna be coming from the left-hand side. So it's gonna go in through here, and then the arrow is pointing this way. So it's gonna come out, up into our carburetor. Next, we're gonna insert our under tray. bring our rear half of the wiring harness around. And we're gonna tuck that into our under tray. So this is your fuel pump connector. So we're actually gonna take that right through this opening here. And that is going to plug into our fuel pump.